Have you got a computer that's just steadily getting slower and slower and slower the more you use it? In today's video, I'm going to show you how I clean up a computer and I'm going to show you some easy to follow steps that you can do yourself and turn that old snail into a racehorse. Stick around. Now what I've got here is an HP DP24 series that for whatever reason has just gotten slower over time. When you click on things, all you get is the blue circle of death. It seems like it just sits forever and is not responsive. I'm going to show you a few things you can do to clean that up and get your computer working correctly again. Just clicking on the start button, it seems like it takes forever for the start menu to load. So that tells me that there's absolutely something wrong in Windows or potentially a bug, malware infection, virus, or just Windows corruption. We can fix all of that. Even just opening Windows File Explorer seems like it takes forever. Now, it could be a hardware problem, but most of the time it's gonna be software. And the things I'm gonna show you in this video can take care of a lot of these problems so you don't have to deal with this. Now, one of the things you want to always do, if you haven't done it yet, is to restart your computer. That does tend to take care of a lot of problems that are intermittent. Assuming that you've done that, the next thing that we want to do, we want to look at Task Manager and see what is running every time the computer starts. Two easy ways to get to that. You can either Control-Alt-Delete and click on Task Manager, or if you can get to your taskbar, you can right-click on it in Windows 10 and choose Task Manager. Both of them take you to the same place. I wish I was exaggerating when I said it took about 12 minutes for this task manager to finally come up. So when it finally does, I want to go to the startup tab and right click and disable any items that do not need to run every single time this computer starts. A lot of times malware or unnecessary programs will load at startup and this is what's causing the computer to slow down. After you do that, I would absolutely recommend restarting the computer. You're going to see a significant increase in speed right off the bat with just that simple change. But stick around because there's more that we got to do to get your computer running as fast as possible. So the first thing you need to do is click on your search box and in the search box type in CMD and then to the right click on run as administrator. So once the command prompt opens, what we want to do is do a check disk. We do this by typing chkdsk space forward slash f, and this will look for any errors on the drive. If you get a prompt that tells you that it can't run, but it will run on the next restart, go ahead and say yes. And then at that point, simply restart your computer and the check disk will run after that next reboot. Now after the check disk is run, the next step we want to do is we want to go and remove any unneeded apps installed on the computer that could possibly be slowing you down. So to do the removal process of any unnecessary programs, when the apps and features window comes up, just select any programs that either you are not familiar with or that you know you don't use and then click uninstall. Follow the steps all the way through the uninstallation of each item and go all the way down the list until any programs that you did not put on there are removed. If it looks like it's a Windows program, leave it alone. Just remove the programs that you know you've put on there or that you have seen running. Now the next step in the process to speed up the computer is to install a good malware defense program and also an antivirus program. I'm going to recommend one that is free and that I personally use and I think it's great. It finds all kinds of bugs that other programs just don't. Go to malwarebytes.org and download the free Malwarebytes scanner. Install it and run it. The next thing you want to do is download Avast antivirus. Go to avast.com, click on the free downloads, follow the steps, download, install it, and let's run it. I have the links to download both of those programs in the description below. Once the antivirus program opens, you want to click on protection and then go to virus scans and then click boot time scan and then click on run on next reboot. What will happen is, is on the next reboot, Avast will scan for bugs and remove them before Windows loads. If you did it right, when you restart the computer, you should see a window similar to this right before Windows loads. This is your antivirus scanning for bugs. After the scan is complete and Windows has loaded again, you'll also notice that the computer is going to be a little bit faster. The next thing I would recommend is doing a check with CCleaner. You can go to ccleaner.com and download the free program. What this does is it removes all excess junk and leftover crap from all the years of your computer being used to download and view images and things like that. So when the program starts, on the left side, you want to click on Custom Clean, click on Analyze, and let CCleaner scan to see how much stuff it can remove. After CCleaner has analyzed your system, click on Run Cleaner at the bottom right. 
and let it finish cleaning your computer. Next thing you want to do is on the left side go to registry and click scan for issues. When that's done, remove selected items, yes to back up, and then fix all selected issues. At this point you can close CCleaner, you can even uninstall it if you want. It's already done its job as far as cleaning your computer. Now one other thing that I like to do is run a system file checker. So from the command prompt, again, you want to type in CMD, click run as administrator. When the command prompt comes up, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now, all one word, and then hit enter and let it scan Windows file system and make sure all the files are correct and in the right order. Now this particular computer is still acting a little squirrely, so I want to make sure that there's no problems with the hard disk. So I'm going to go back to my command prompt, type in chkdsk space forward slash r. The r will actually physically check the hard drive to make sure that there's no damage to the physical media. This is always my favorite part. After all the scans are completed, bugs removed, excess crap removed, everything is running optimally. I want to restart the computer and just simply start opening things. See how much difference in speed and performance I get from just those few things. Just as an example, opening my file system and just clicking around and looking how fast files actually open on the computer. Then opening my web browser, which used to take several minutes to load a web page, now it comes up in just a couple seconds. These are all things you can do very easily, just as I've shown you, to fix your computer with free tools and a few minutes of your time. So depending on what's wrong with your computer, some of these fixes may or may not work for you. But if you have a seriously infected computer and these steps don't fix it, watch this video right here because it'll show you the guaranteed way to get bugs off your computer.